All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to run this light with this single pole switch, power coming from this receptacle, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to run a wire from the receptacle to the panel box. That's where we're going to get our power from. Then we need to run a wire from this outlet and this outlet into this switch box. So again, I like to put the power wire next to, in a switch, I like to put the hot wire next to the stud all the time. In this out outlet, it doesn't matter because they're both going to be hot. This one's power in, this one would be power out, power in to the switch box. Then the last thing I need is a wire running from this switch box into my light box. Put the switch leg in the outer hole. Tack these down. Now that I got my wires run, I'm going to strip them Remember, do not cut into the black or the white coating on the wires not want to cause a short. So make sure you don't press too hard when you cut into these wires. All right, for an outlet, first thing I'm going to do is take my two ground wires. I'm going to twist them together. I'm going to use my linesman pliers to tighten them up. Make sure that they're nice and tight. Snip one of the two wires off. Put your green wire nut on. Okay, for an outlet, I have four screws on an outlet. On one side I have two silver screws and on the other side I have two gold screws. So I have room for four wires. The two black line the two black wires will go on the gold screws and the two white wires will go on to the silver side. So all I have to do is cut them off. Strip back about three quarters of an inch of wire. Put a loop. Same with the black wires. Cut them off approximately six inches from the outside of the box. Put your loops on there. Ground wire, about six inches. Put the loop, take your receptacle, I like to put the ground wire on first, always putting the curve in the direction that the screw is going to tighten, so I put the ground wire on the ground screw, the green screw, then since I'm on that side I will hook up the two neutral wires. 
again, putting them in the direction the screw is going to tighten. Tighten them down nice and snug. Check to see that there's no movement in them. You do not want shorts. Black wires go to the gold screws on the other side. Once you have all the wires hooked up, fold the wires into the box. Use a drill or a screwdriver to run the screws in, and you have your outlet. Okay, your single pole switch. Strip the wires. Again, start with your ground wires, twist them a couple times, grab your linesman pliers, pull them tight, snip off the extra wire, put on your green wire nut. Push it in your box, leave a little bit hanging out, about six inches of hanging out. Neutral wires. Neutral wires, I do not need a neutral wire on the single pole switch, but I do need neutral up here. So the neutral is going to come from here, it's going to come through this switch, or this plug, into this switch, and then up into this light. So all I have to do with these two white wires, or neutral wires, is cut them off. Strip them about three quarters of an inch. Take a red wire nut. Make sure it's good and tight, nothing comes loose. Stuff it into the box. That leaves me with two wires. Single pole switch has two gold screws. So one is my power coming in, one is my switch leg that will be used to turn on the light. Again, it does not matter which goes where on a single pole switch. That on and off is going to come in one and out the other one, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. I'm going to hook my ground wire up first. So ground goes to green, make sure you put it on in the direction that the screw tightens down. Then stick your two black wires, the one switch leg, the other one's hot, onto your single pole switch. And all you have left is to stuff it into the box and screw the screws into the box. Alright, the last thing we have is this light. In this one I'm going to hook up a lamp holder. So I'm going to strip the wire.
I'm going to cut the wires about six inches out of the box. I'm going to put my loops on the end of the switch leg and the neutral. Now since a lamp holder does not have a ground on the light, so the light itself, I've got this extra wire here, okay? Usually what I'll do is I'll wrap it around one of the screws and then stick it into the box. So you wrap it around that and then when you run the screw in there, it kind of grounds itself to the screw, kind of gives it a little bit of a ground. So, all I have to do is hook, I got a silver screw and a gold screw, so the neutral wire will go to the silver and the black will go to the gold. All I would need to do then is to get some screws and attach it to my light box. Okay, so single pole switch, power is coming from this receptacle, which is coming from the power box, the panel box. So starts here, power comes into this one, jumps across on the black screw, power comes into here, it's on one of these two screws. When you flip the switch, it turns on, the power jumps to the other screw, which runs up this wire, turns on my light. I turn my switch off, it cuts the flow of power to this light, turns the light off. That is a single pole switch, power from a receptacle.